Okay, let's start recording. All right, let's begin the class. Today it's, today it's a different, well, it's not different. It's kind of different, kind of. Uh, why we are doing lessons, uh, unit six, lesson C and D today. All right, let's put some information here before we start. So today is Friday. Uh, July 9, 2021. And we are still doing unit nine, actually nine. And we have to work on lessons C and D. Have you been checking the videos? Uh, edit, has estado checking los videos de las clases anteriores? Sí. Te has mantenido al corriente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, sí. recuerda que si no puedes estar en clase, solamente, solamente mándame un mensaje para saber, pero tienes que ver los videos para que no te atrases. Sí, te eh, Ahorita estamos ya en la unidad 9, so terminando esta, el examen es el próximo viernes. Para que te pongas al corriente con tareas, con todo. So we are not going to be working in this lesson today. Okay, let's start with some exercises. Puedes ver la pantalla? Can you see the screen? Sí. All right. So explaining words, that's the topic today. Explaining word to explain words. We are going to learn how to use kind of or kind of like in conversation sometimes we say this one we say kinda si has escuchado hablar de este de esto kind of we use kind of when we don't know how to explain and we will try to explain something we're going to learn this today okay did we have um Well, let me, let's do something before doing this. We are gonna review what we did. Um, last week. So you can refresh. You can refresh your mind a little bit. We start unit nine. Yes. A white wall. We start discussing these places, beautiful places to visit. We went to New York. We traveled to New York. Beautiful pictures, beautiful city. Uh, things to do when uh, it's raining. Page 86, Unit 9, A Hold Wide on. World. Hold on. We practice the conversation. Page 86. Uh, we practice the grammar with Ken, the model Ken. Film uh, more pictures 
about New York. The same here with can, can't, the affirmative form, the negative, and the interrogative form. Could be the interrogative, yes or no question, or the question information. Or the information question. Page 87, two, grammar, can and can't for possibility. Okay, pay attention to this, please. We're going to listen to grammar about can and can for possi possibility. That's from lesson A. Page 87, two, grammar, can and can't for possibility. Use can to talk about things that are possible. Use can't for things that are not possible. I can take a ferry. You can't take a ferry. He can see a show. She can't see a show. We okay, um, Edith, I need you to repeat after. Listen and repeat, okay? From the beginning, please. Page 87, two, grammar, can and can't for possibility. Use can to talk about things that are possible. Use can't for things that are not possible. I can take a ferry. You can't take a ferry. He can see a show. She can't see a show. We can go to a museum. They can't go to a museum. What can you do in New York? You can do a million things. Can we buy an umbrella? Yes, we can. No, we can't. All right, Edith. Did you have a chance to repeat? Do you practice? Edith? Yes, teacher. 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 Yes, no, sí, te entiendo. Ok. Recuerda que tienes que practicar y decirme si me entiendes o no me entiendes, porque ese es el punto de estar aprendiendo inglés. So we practice this, we, we this, these exercises. Then we start talking about lesson B, about countries, right? Names of the countries in English like Canada, the United States, uh, Mexico, Honduras, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, the Caribbean, the Caribbean, etc. Page 80. This, this is what we did last week with Oliver um, Perez, funny, I think it was funny. CD. We also talk about food. Page 89, three. Listening and speaking. Inter and this is a new lesson today. They are kind of, remember the word I told you? A kind of, when you are trying to explain something. A kind of candy, that's the name of the lesson. Do you understand they are a kind of candy? Edit. Edit. Can you hear me? Edit, are you there? 
edit Hello. Yes, teacher. Uh, ¿Tienes problemas con el sonido o no me escuchas? Es que está lento el internet. Ok. Uh, sí, escuché esa es la pregunta que te hice. They are, kind of a, they are a kind of candy. ¿Entiendes esta oración? Sí o no, tal vez. Sí, un poco. Creo que es que ella es una especie de caramelo o algo así. Sí. They are, ellos, es ellos. plural, ajá. Una especie de, de, de dulce, correcto. <laughs> ok. How often do you order these things in a cafe, Edith? Uh, Ice cream, soda, or cake? How often? Tell me. I'm listening. How often do you order these things in a cafe? Ice cream, soda, or cake? Remember, how often is um, frequency? Twice a week. Uh, every time you go to a restaurant or to a cafe. Soda y café. Sir. Soda and coffee. Uh -huh. How often? ¿Qué tan seguido? Dos días a la semana. In English? In, um... You have to remember that's the lesson one. You need one. Uh, that's basic, remember. ¿Qué tan seguido? Remember, we learn these expressions once a week. Um, twice a month. three times a week, etc., etc. How often do you order these things in a cafe? Tell me, how often? Edith, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you respond to my question? Two a week. Two? A week. That's twice a week. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to repeat twice a week. Twice mm -hmm. means two times. Twice a week. Twice a week. Twice. You say one time, one time is once, once a week. Twice a week. Twice a week. I order soda and coffee twice a week. All right, excellent.
But remember to participate. If you have problems with the audio, you have to let me know. Now listen, listen this conversation. We have a conversation with two people, Yuki and Stan. They are in a restaurant, in a cafe, and they are or they order something. So you have the server, the waiter, the waiter, you have Oyuki and Stan. So these two people, you Yuki and Stan, they are ordering something in a cafe. So no books, please close your books. No, you, uh, you don't have to read. Just listen. See if you understand. Page 90. Lesson C. They're a kind of candy. One, conversation strategy. Explaining words. Listen, what do Yuki and Stan order? Are you ready to order? Yes. Can I have a large diet soda? A large diet soda? Yes, please. Um, can I have coffee ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Sure. Okay. What are sprinkles? They're a kind of candy. You can put them on things like ice cream and cake. They're kind of like sugar. Oh, I know. You can get them in Japan, too. Okay, great. Let's see one more time, uh, Edith. Please now take your pen or pencil and take note. Listen what Oyuki and Stan order. Yes, they are, remember, they are in a, in a cafe and they are ordering something. One more time, please. Page 90, lesson C. They're a kind of candy. One, conversation strategy, explaining words. Listen, what do Yuki and Stan order? Are you ready to order? Yes, can I have a large diet soda? A large diet soda? Yes, please. Um, can I have coffee ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Sure. Okay. What are sprinkles? They're a kind of candy. You can put them on things like ice cream and cake. They're kind of like sugar. Oh, I know. You can get them in Japan, too. Okay, first question, um, Edith. Where is this conversation happening? Where are they? Are they in a store, in a shop? They are in a church? In a cafe? In a restaurant? In a diner? Where are they? Edith. Can you hear me? Edith. Yes. If you can hear me, what did I ask you? Where are these people? Where are Yuki and Stan? Are they in a restaurant, in a cafe, in a shop, in a store? Are they in church? Where? Edit. Do you understand the question, Edith? Si entiendes la pregunta.
¿Entiendes la pregunta o no? ¿O no sabes cómo contestar? Yes, teacher. Ok, so answer, contesta. ¿Dónde están ellos? En un café. En un café, yes. That's what you have to do. But please try to answer. Trata de contestar, porque yo no sé si me escuchas o no. Ok, now listen one more time and pay attention to the conversation because you have to read. Here you go. Hold on, please. Page 90. Lesson C. They're a kind of candy. One, conversation strategy, explaining words. Listen, what do Yuki and Stan order? Are you ready to order? Yes, can I have a large diet soda? A large diet soda? Yes, please. Um, can I have coffee ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Sure, okay. What are sprinkles? They're a kind of candy. You can put them on things like ice cream and cake. They're kind of like sugar. Oh, I know. You can get them in Japan too. Okay, excellent. Uh, we have, in this conversation, we have two expressions, right? Like kind. This is the first one, they are kind of candy. What is the second one, Edith? What is the second expression? So you see kind of. All right. The second expression, I don't know if you can hear me or not, or you don't want to participate, or because I am not listening to you. They are kind of like sugar. Yes, there is one extra word here, it's like. Looks like sugar. So these two are similar. But we have an extra word here, like. They are kind of like sugar. They are kind of candy. Okay, we have the notice. Uh, can you read the notice, Edith, please? Here. Here. Can you read here? Edith, are you there? Edith? Edith, I cannot listen to you. Send me a message to the chat. Okie dokie. Edith, if you can listen to me, please send me a message on the chat here in Zoom. Yes, Edith? Yes, teacher, me escucha. 
Ya, yeah, ya te escucho. ¿Tú me escuchas a mí? Oh, entrecortado. Ya, yeah, porque siempre tienes el mismo problema con el audio y no puedes participar. So, tienes que ver la forma de arreglarlo. Porque si no participas, no vas a aprender muy bien que digamos. So, tienes que participar en todas las actividades y leyendo. So, tienes que checar eso, lo del audio. ¿Desde dónde estás trabajando? ¿En una computadora o un teléfono? En una computadora. Ok. Tienes que cambiar el audio, entonces. La computadora tiene estos dos tipos de audios. El audio de la computadora. Y el otro audio, el externo. Ok, vamos a... ¿Sí me escuchas ahora? Sí. Ok, vamos a leer aquí. Yo soy... Ser, uh, Tú eres el server... Bueno, lee lo completo. Empieza desde. The, you start, you can begin, you can start from the beginning. Server. Uh, are you ready to order? Yes, can I have a large diet soda? Uh, a large soda. Diet. diet. A large diet soda. Diet soda. Uh, yes, please. Um, I have I have coffee nine. I I can Chocolates. Yeah, mm, the, repeat. Yes. Mm, can I have uh, coffee ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Aquí no es chocolate. 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 No se pronuncia la O. En la O. Se brinca y se pone chocolate. Chocolate. Y esta A, chocolate. esta A se pronuncia como si fuera una S suave. Chocolate. 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 No chocolate. No chocolate tampoco. Chocolate. Repite la frase. Uh, um, I have coffee. Can I have coffee? I have coffee. I... Can I have coffee, ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Repite, can I have choc coffee? Can I have coffee, ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Can I have coffee, ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Can I have coffee, ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Oh, I. Oh, can you have coffee? Sure. Okay. Continua. What are split? 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 Sprinkles. Split. What are sprinkles? What are split? Okay, no es sprinkles, sprinkles. Sprinkles. No es sprinkles, no hay e, ¿verdad? So es no. sprinkles. 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 Okay, continue. Continua. They. They are. Are king of candy. Chuko, you can do the name of tea and lie and I.
You can put them on things like continue. I create and the free. They are kids of like two. They are kind, <coughs> kind, not kind. They are of candy. They are kind of candy. Of candy, you can uh -huh. put them on things like ice cream and cake. And cake. Ice cream. Ice cream. And cake. And cake. They are K of like sugar. Kind, they are kind of like sugar. Sugar. Kind, remember esta palabra es kind, not kind. 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 Repite kind. Kind. La I se pronuncia como si fuera la vocal. I, verdad, es I. Kind. 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 Okay. Oh, I know, you can get them in Japan. <coughs> okay, we have the notice. The notice is right here. Oh. Okay, can you read the notice, please, here? Edit. Oh. Oh. Notice how stone uses a kind of, of, a kind of, and kind of like. He is explaining a word to Yuki. This is a Yuki, remember? O Yuki, and this is Stan. That usually happens when you are learning English and you don't know the word. They try to explain. What is that? It's kind of, kind of, uh, remember, it's, it's some type of the, not class of the, and then we have kind of like una clase de como sugar or dessert. Can you read the notice, please? Edit here. Edit. Yes. Puedes leer el notice here. ¿Sí me escuchas? Yes. Okay. So continue, yes. please. How how is saying using kind of um kind of like the is she is uh, explain a new word to chicken uh, explain in the commercial commercial yeah. commercial yeah. find examples in the conversation the conversation Conversation. 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 That's one sound, two sounds, three sounds, four sounds. Conversation. Yes? For example, this one. What are sprinkles? They are a kind of candy. So he's explaining the word sprinkles, right? Because it's new for her. So you, it, he tries to explain they are kind of candy. 
He says there because sprinkles is plural, right? All right, give me one second, please. Hold on, hold on. Yes. All right, let's continue, please, with the rest. Just give me one second. Okay, before going to that, let's see some vocabulary here. Lesson C, they are a kind of candy. Saying you have the conversation here on your right. So what you have to do with it is you have to, uh, this is, they are scrambled, so you need to scramble the words. Están todos revueltas, so tienes que poner en orden. Number one. ¿Cómo dejarías la número uno, Edith? Edith. For example, I would say sprinkles are a kind of candy. Yes? Now do you do number two? Edit. Are you there? Are you there, Edith, or not? Can you hear me? Okay, ¿en qué parte, en qué, en qué ciudad vives? What is your city? Where do you live? Edith? Are you there? Hello? Hello, Fanny. Are you there? Yes, teacher. I'm here. Sorry for the late. It's because my Wi Fi doesn't work. Oh, it's okay. It was, uh, well, I was working with um, Edith, but she has the same issue. Well, with the internet. So it's okay. I want you on hold. Is just Edith? Yeah, Edith. I was with her. She started with me in the morning. I mean, at 12. But she has internet issues with the computer. With the computer. And where are the others? Well, uh, Oliver texted me that he's coming after today after the break. Okay. Some stomach issues. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's something, I don't know. Well, he didn't give me any details of that. At, at the beginning, I thought that he was a teenager. Well, he, Oliver is always uh, on time, and he's always here. But I don't know what happened, so. 
we have to continue with the unit and we have to finish the unit. Remember, uh, funny after unit nine. So today uh, we are working on unit nine lesson C and D. So that means the exam is next Friday. Okay. So it's gonna be the written and the oral exam. I will explain okay. later if Oliver is here and the rest, because I want you to do something different for the, the oral, the oral exam. The written okay. is the same, you know, 50 questions with reading, comprehension, etc. Okay. But uh, we have to finish this lesson. Uh, I mean, this unit. Just give me one minute, please. Yes, don't worry. So where are you now, oh, Fanny, in Acapulco or somewhere else? No, I'm in Toluca now. You're in Acapulco? No, I, I'm in Toluca. Oh, you're in Toluca. Oh, what yeah. city? I live in Toluca, but I'm from Acapulco. Oh, you are from here, but you live in Toluca. What part of Toluca? Well, the Estado of Mexico, not Toluca. But yes. Because uh, I've been there to Metepec. No, um, it's, uh, it's near to Luca, but not like Metepec. Oh, okay. No, because I, that's the only place I know, Metepec. It's a nice place. It's nice, yeah. Businesses, restaurants, you have everything. Yes. And I have another friend in Tuktepec, something like that. Okay, I'm in the other side. Uh, it, it's like, I don't know, like five kilometers from, from Toluca. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been there in Toluca. I, li I like Toluca. I like the, the places, the sightseeing, especially that big cathedral or church, whatever it is. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. The, the, that place is like a museum with glasses. Different yes, colors. with glasses. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, can you see the, uh, let me see, let me see, not yet. Can you see the screen now? Yes. Uh, well, before that, uh, I need to ask you, you have been, have you been working with the Cambridge platform? I tried to log in, but it's too heavy, I think, for my internet. <laughs> mm. I don't know. It gets slow, slower? Yes. Okay. So remember, you have a message on the WhatsApp group from teacher Maru that you have a, like a class or training. Okay. About the, but, but sometimes you said it's about the internet, but that's something different. I think it's my internet. I think it's my, the problem, it's in my internet. Oh yeah, okay. So let's listen. Uh, uh, can you see the screen, my screen now? Yes. Conversation strategy. Yes. Let's pay attention to this, please. Yes. Conversation strategy, explaining words. When you explain a word, you give more information about it. You make the meaning clear. Listen to the conversation. What are sprinkles? They're a kind of candy. They're a kind of candy, explains the word sprinkles. Here are other kinds of candy. Chocolate is a kind of candy. 
Cotton candy is a kind of candy. Sprinkles are a kind of candy. Here are some more examples. What's tea? It's a kind of drink. What's coffee? It's a kind of drink. What's soda? It's a kind of drink. Now, listen to the conversation. Are sprinkles like sugar? Like means the same. Well, yes and no. They're kind of like sugar. They're kind of like sugar explains the word sprinkles. Here are some more examples. What's a cap? It's kind of like a hat. What are sneakers? They're kind of like shoes. Okay. <laughs> Do you understand the example, Sonny? Yes, teacher. The difference between kind, kind of, when you say kind of, kind of like, uh, normally in conversation you say kind of, right? Mm -hmm. Or kind of like, you the same, you can say kind of like, like together. Kind of like, it's kind of like. <clears throat> That's when you are trying to explain a word, you say kind. It's a kind of. That's, that's very common in English when you don't find the word, the meaning, because you don't have that word in your mind. So you try to explain the word. Especially when you don't have enough vocabulary and you say, well, I don't know that word. I don't know that word in Spanish, the translation into Spanish, but let me explain it to you so you can understand. Yes? Yes, teacher. Conversation strategy, explaining words. You can explain words with the expressions a kind of and kind of like. Listen and repeat. Listen, okay, listen and repeat. What are sprinkles? What are sprinkles? What are sprinkles. They're a kind of candy. They're a kind of candy. Yeah, like remember the linking, they are, they are kind of candy, kind of candy. They are kind of, kind candy. of candy. Okay. Yes, like one song. They're kind of like sugar. They're, They're kind, kind of, of like sugar. sugar. Yes. Well, this is like a, a very clear, very clear pronunciation. They are kind of like sugar. But as you know, in conversations, you will listen it uh, like fast, uh, kind of like sugar. Sometimes it's difficult to, 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 to separate, right? Word by word. They kind of like sugar. Keep in mind, remember, sprinkle is also a verb. Really? Yes, to sprinkle, like, um, when you sprinkle something over a cake or something. Oh, okay, okay. Like doing like, like um, you can sprinkle like uh, over something. Sprinkle, sprinkles? Oh, sprinkle also means like water. Um. Sprinkle, you sprinkle me. Uh, how do you say in Spanish? Well, don't forget about it. Salpicar? Like salpicar? Salpicar, right. <laughs> That's the word. Salpicar. The, yeah. Uh, you see the, the, the ones you use for the gardens? Uh-huh. They are called...
sprinklers. sprinklers. Son las tipos de regaderas que se ponen abajo del pasto y empieza a dar vueltas y riega. Los rociadores, ¿no? Yes, that's a sprinkler. Sprinkler. No, I'm sorry, Spring, sprinkler, sprinkler, I need, I need a nail here. Sprinkler. Sprinkler. Okay. Well, put a nail, sprinkler. Okay. Well, um, we practice with uh, with uh, edit the conversation. You don't have any troubles with pronunciation or fluency, but you, I think, you will need more about grammar. Look okay. at the photos completed. Oh, well, I want you to read the, the instructions, please. Yes, look at the photos. Complete the first sentence about each them. Read a word from the box. There is one extra word. Then listen and write the country each item. Item? Item. Yes, it's item. Item comes from yes, each item. item. Okay. It could be item, British, or item, uh, America. Okay. You don't want to have that item. So we have kimbap, a crepe, crepe. pacho, and lassi. Okay. So you have here. Kim, uh, so the first, yes. So you will listen. Someone describing each item. Okay. Okay. So you need to write in the blank spaces here. Okay. Here and here. Page 90. One, conversation strategy, explaining words. D, look at the photos. Complete the first sentence about each item with a word from the box. There is one extra word. Then listen and write the country each item comes from. One, kimbap is a kind of snack. It's like Japanese sushi. Kimbap is from South Korea. Two. A crepe is a kind of dessert. It's kind of like a pancake. They eat crepes in France. Three. Gazpacho is a kind of soup. It's kind of like tomato juice. It's from Spain. Four. Lassi is a kind of drink. It's kind of like a milkshake. Lassi is from India. All right. Do you, do you listen? Or yes. will you like to listen one more time? Okay. One more time? Um, no, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, check your answers, check your answers. Okay, yes, yes, of course. Page 90, one, conversation strategy, explaining words. D, look at the photos, complete the first sentence about each item with a word from the box. There is one extra word, then listen and write the country each item comes from. One, kimbap is a kind of snack. It's like Japanese sushi. Kimbap is from South Korea. Two, a crepe is a kind of dessert. It's kind of like a pancake. They eat crepes in France. Three, gazpacho is a kind of soup. It's kind of like tomato juice. It's from Spain. 
four. Lassi is a kind of drink. It's kind of like a milkshake. Lassi is from India. All right, let's do it. So what do you have for number, number one? Funny. Okay, kimbap, it's a kind of snack. It's like Japanese sushi. Kimba is from South Korea. South Korea. Okay, number, what about number two? Uh, crepe, it's a kind of dessert. Yeah, crepe. Crept. Crept. Yes, it's a kind of dessert. Dessert. Double L. Dessert. 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 Uh huh. It's kind of like a pancake. They eat crepes in uh, France. France. La France. We. Oui. Uh, they eat crepes in France. Crepes. 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 Yeah. Crepes. They used to make crepes, but where, when I was living in, in, in Chicago, uh, they used to make the one, one of my favorite uh, dish wow. crepes, but they were with uh, cheese, uh, ham, and the chamel sauce. It was a French restaurant. Delicious. Oh. Number three. What about number three, please? Mm, gazpacho is a kind of soup. Yes. It's kind of like tomato juice. It's from Spain. Spain. Thank you. Did you know that gazpacho is a cold soup? Yes, I'll, I'll try it before. Yeah, you have it. You have have it before. Nice. Yes, yes. Where it's like it? ceviche. <laughs> Yeah, it's like ceviche. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number four. Lassi is a kind of drink. It's a kind of like milkshake. Lassi is from India. From oh, India, yes, perfect. Good job. It's a kind of. Kind of. Well, in this exercise, of course, we are learning um, kind, kind of, or kind of like. You know, in and when you say kind of like, you give like an example, right? Okay. Something specific, and this one is more general, kind of snack, kind of mm -hmm. dessert, kind of soup, kind of drink. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, we have strategy plus. Can you read, please? Um, if you don't mind reading here. Uh, yes, uh, you can use like to give examples. In conversation, like is one of the top 50 words. It has other meanings. I like Brazilian food. What's Thai food like? Spicy? Sprinkles are like sugar. Okay, you can put sprinkles on things like ice cream and cake. Yes. Do you remember sprinkle? Sprinkles, sprinkles. is the right? And to sprinkle is the action. It's the same. You see his hand? That's what you do when you sprinkle cheese over something. Some yes, uh, yes. pass or something. You sprinkle the cheese. Sprinkles, it's like sugar. <laughs> and the other, to sprinkle, it's a verb. Okay? It's the verb, to sprinkle. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. I need to sprinkle. Can you sprinkle my pasta? That's, you can, put, can you put some cheese on my pasta? Okay. All right. Imagine a tourist is asking these questions about your country. Complete the answers, then practice with a partner. Mm. Okay, let's do it. So, teacher, uh, just to be sure, here uh, in, in conversation, like, is one of the top 
about 50 words. The first like is, I like, me gusta. Uh, the second, it's uh, like, como. And the third one, it's like sugar como azúcar, así. Like that. Uh, it's, all of them are different. Okay. In the first one, Like has many meanings. The first one is the user. I like, I like soccer. I like, um, I like watching TV. I like uh, the ocean. It's a verb, right? Like, to like. like. What type food like when you are asking for a description? So it's a different meaning. Okay. Remember, remember in the first unit when I say, what are what are you like? Your personality. What are you like? We saw that in okay. the in unit, I think unit one or two. Yes, yes, I, I remember. How is you like? How do you like? How how is your mom like? Remember? Yes, yes. Describe here. How is your mom like? How is your father like? But is a personality description or Person like description, uh, description. personality? Okay. But when we use this kind of question, we always use verb B. Okay. This is a verb, verb B, not this one. But is, right? Yes, we have is. Okay. So that's why it's different. Remember, in a sentence, in a complete sentence, the rule is you just you have only one verb after the subject, or two verbs. If you have two verbs, they must be separated by a preposition or ing. But in this case, in this case, we are talking about something different. Remember when you use verb be and you use like, normally you use like at the end. Okay. So let's say I ask, um, I ask Oliver, that is not here. What's funny like? I am not asking, I am not using like as a verb, right? What's funny like? Right. Description, personality. Okay. But if I say, what does, what does she look like? Look like? Physical oh, appearance. Physical okay. appearance. Look. Personality, the first, this okay. one, physical appearance. Yes. If I ask you, how does your husband like personality? He's shy, he's quiet, he's an introverted. What does your husband look like? Oh, he's tall, he's handsome, he's uh, etc. Physical okay. description. And if, if I want to ask, with the verb like? Well, that's something different. You can say, remember in English, like is totally different than in Spanish. For example, so I say, I like funny, means me cae bien, not really like, like, you know, in the other ah. way. <laughs> I like Oliver, me cae bien. That's what it means. That's what. That's why sometimes we confuse like, uh, right? Okay. Like friends, that they can be. So that's something different. Like, like friends. Okay, okay. Like, do you like? You, do you like your neighbors? They can be tus vecinos. No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that's the meaning with like. 
Okay. Remember, like is not sometimes depending on the context. Depending on the context, puede ser gustar o puede ser caer bien. When I say, oh, I like you. You're nice. Okay. Me caes bien. So you will know the difference of how they say it. Oh, I really like you. You know the tone? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, okay. It's different. Okay, let's do it. Um, number one, well, you have to say it. You need to learn some vocabulary here. Let me show you something. If you give me one minute, it's loading. Yes, yes. All right, you have more examples about like here. I hope this is a little bit clearer. Strategy plus, like. You can use like to give examples. You can put sprinkles on things like ice cream and cake. Ice cream and cake are examples of things you put sprinkles on. Here are some more examples. I watch fun TV shows like cartoons and game shows. Cartoons and game shows are examples of fun TV shows. In winter, I wear things like boots and gloves. Boots and gloves are examples of things I wear. Strategy plus, like. You can use like to give examples. Listen and repeat. Okay, saying like the last exercise. You can put sprinkles on things like ice cream and cake. You can put sprinkles on things like ice cream and cake. On things, okay, on things. You can put sprinkles on things like ice cream and cake. You can put a sprinkles on things like ice cream and cake. Yes. Remember when we talk about linking? You I mean, for, for, that's some fit for conversations, like linking consonants and vowels. So it's, it's more about your fluency, not fluency, but how native or natural you sound. You can put on screen some things like ice cream and cake. Like ice cream and cake. You see, you put it together here. Like ice cream and cake. Cream and cake. Mm, it's like one okay. sound together. Cream and cake. But, but that's, you learn this. Of course, you have to practice. Okay, okay. Cream and, cake. and you do that when you, you do it every day or you do it very often, but you need to practice reading too. Okay, it's 140, we have 20 more minutes before the break. Um, I hope you're coming back after the break, Fanny. I hope to. I hope so. It's <laughs> <laughs> the break and Fanny disappeared. What's Fanny? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. It's gone. Okay. It's just to our class. It's okay. <laughs> no, but sorry. At least you're here. At least you're here. Yes, I'm here. <laughs>
what happens is like it's my it's my husband comes to home and he's like he wants to conversate with me and that stuff and i'm like yes yes i have to i have to um go into my class <laughs> and he's uh -huh. like yes yes go ahead but he's still talking <laughs> Oh, that's, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> and he's eating and I'm just like, okay, I'll be, I'll be with you in a minute, my love. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds fun. Well, uh, here in this exercise, uh, it's easy to tell what language it is English or it is a different language. Mm -hmm. We have the pictures, something visual, and you have the names. You have the option of English word and foreign word. Uh, for example, balalaika is a foreign word. You can tell, right? Balalaika. Mm, okay. Apple. English word. You can tell it's English, of course. Tortilla. Oh, foreign word. Foreign words. Yeah. Tortilla. Mexican. English word. English word. How do you pronounce this? Tower. Tower, yes. La foreign word. La baclava. Baclava. Uh, English word, hamburger. Hamburger. Usually you just call it a burger, right? A burger. Ah, okay. A burger. A burger. burger. You don't say, well, uh, hamburger used, used to be the, the original, original name because it had a ham. Oh, yeah. yeah. No ham anymore sometimes. Just burger. Yeah, sometimes they use bacon or something else. So That's why burger. sometimes I hear uh, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Hamburguesa con queso, okay. Yeah, like Burger King, same. Oh, si sí, cierto. Oh, I want a burger, okay. You don't have to say a hamburger, it's a longer word. Mm -hmm. Hamburger, three sounds, three syllables. Mm -hmm. This burger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, excellent. Um, okay, hamburger. Okay, in this exercise, we are going to work what you know, your vocabulary. Okay, I am A, you are B, okay? Mm, okay. What, are, so what are good souvenirs to buy? Let's see. You are, you are talking about your country. I mean, your country is Mexico. Of course, our oh. country is Mexico. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, you can buy things like candies. Candies. Mm, hats, clothes, traditional clothes. And um, how can I say llaveros? <laughs> candies, traditional clothes. Let me write these clothes. Yeah. Um, key chains. Key chains. Key chains. You know, key, the word key? Mm -hmm. Chains is a compound word. These two words may one key chains. So it's a chain for keys. Okay. Uh, what else? Etc. Um, mm -hmm. Souvenirs from Mexico. Oh, tequila. <laughs> uh, yeah. Of course. Of so course, tequila. <laughs> yeah, when, when, I to, when I went to Italy, I took like three bottles of tequila. They said, yeah. What is this tequila? You don't know tequila? <laughs> <laughs> Try two shots and you'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number two. Do you ever see people in traditional clothes? What are they like? You have here, what are they like? Uh, 
Well, sometimes people wear things like uh, long, long um, shirts. No, faldas. Skirt? Long skirts. Yes, skirts. Long skirts and aprons. Right. What is aprons? Yes, uh, aprons is uh what the ladies use in the front when they are cooking usually, but some ah, okay. it's part of a traditional uh, outfit. Mandiles. Delantales. Delantales. You know, some, um, some people use wear them. How can I say uh, <laughs> playeras bordadas? Bueno, blusas bordadas. Is that a word for that? Knitted blouses. Oh, knitted. Knitted comes from the verb knit. To knit, bordar, right? Okay. So you have to use a compound word. In this case, knitted is an adjective, and blouse, blouses is a noun. Knitted blouses. Okay. Playeras bordadas. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Number three, can you watch any traditional music instruments? Uh, yeah, you can buy things like maracas. <laughs> okay, maracas. Guitars, acoustic guitars. Um, drums. <laughs> um, and flautes. Say again. Flautes. Blouse. Blouse. Flautes. Oh, flutes. Ah, flutes. 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 Uh, so maybe you, you sometimes find in Veracruz. What is the traditional musical instrument instrument from Veracruz? La tarimba, no? ¿Cómo se llama eso? Sí. No. Well, tarima, tarim, no, tarimba. No, tarima. Tarimba. Harp. Harp. Yes, harp. Yeah. Tarimba is tarimba because it's from Veracruz. Mm. Where are good places? Where are good places to visit? Mm, well, you can visit places like the beach. Where? And we're talking about Mexico. Yes, the beaches. <laughs> beaches. Oh, by the way, you say tarimbas or marimba? Marimba, no? We did. <laughs> I was yeah. really, don't you look like right? Tarimba? The tambo? No, no puede ser. <laughs> no, no me acordaba. I, 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 no sabía si era marimba, tarimba o okay. qué, pero okay. era ser algo así. Tarimba, marimba. Yeah, we have beaches. Um, like, you know, uh, Acapulco, Pulse. Cancun, Puerto Vallarta. Pulse. What else? Falls, like Velo de Novia and the freezing falls, las cascadas congeladas. Oh, it's called waterfalls. Waterfalls. Yes. Waterfall, we have forest. Forest, yes. Uh, here in Toluca, the volcan. Volcanoes. Volcanos, yes. Volcanos. We have sightseeing. Uh, sightseeing. Museums. Museums. We have many things. Museums. We have main squares, right? Main square, yes. Squares. Mm. Cathedral, etc., etc., cathedral, churches, <laughs> buildings, streets, towns, 
Yeah, well, Mexico is full of, may, of many attractions, depending on what city. Okay, let's continue with this exercise, please. In this, well, this exercise, you have to do it yourself. I mean, in your computer, so you can check your pronunciation. You have the steps here. What kind of things can actually see and do in your country? That's what we're doing now. So what you have to do here is to record your own voice, like right here. What are good souvenirs to buy? Then you have to record your answer. And you start here. And you start here. Yes. So this is for your practice. You can play it or, or you can sample. You can have a sample answer. Like this. What are good souvenirs to buy? Let's see. You can buy things like jewelry, crafts, and leather purses. That's the example. So in case you don't have any idea, uh... okay. And then continue with the next ex exercises. Do what you is ever for see you? people in traditional clothes? What are they like? These are the same questions, but this is about more about pronunciation. Do you ever see people in traditional clothes? What are they like? Well, sometimes people wear things like kilts, the traditional costume. They're kind of like a skirt. Okay. They are kind of like a skirt when you don't know how to describe it, but you have the idea. Skirt mm -hmm. Like now you said uh, marimba. What's marimba? It's a kind of a musical instrument, right? It's a kind of piano. <laughs> uh -huh. It's kind of a piano. <laughs> Homemade piano. <laughs> piano. Okay. Okay, we're going to finish uh, this, this lesson. We did these exercises. Well, we finished. Well, we did it. You're fast. Okay, I think I lost it. Okay. Oh, Okay, we have six minutes. Let me see if I can get um, just a little game for this unit, this lesson. Have you played any games here on the campus, campus platform, Funny? No. No? Okay. So we're going to play something. Remember, this is just about vocabulary. Ah, uh, no. See, the, the, yes, the other time with um, Oliver, I think. Ah, you were here. Well, it, this is a different unit, so different exercises. Okay. This country in Asia is an island. Uh, Japan? Yes. Which of these cities? Bogota. Are in, is, this is R. This is plural. Are in Colombia. Or which, which of these? Yes, it's fine. Which of these cities? Which of these Colombia? cities? Bogota. Colombia. Bogota.
must go. Must go. Must go. Yes. Extract people from the cross river. Uh, bridge. Bridge. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Continent in, in Africa. Africa. Egypt, yes. Which of these countries is not in Europe? Uh, what, no, Turkey. Turkey? Well, Turkey is in Europe and Asia, but let's try Turkey. Yes, because uh, Turkey shares Part they of the half, half is, yes, yes, yes. What food is bacon slices and use for a sandwich? Bread? Which of these countries is not up in Africa, Italy? Which continent includes Turkey and India? Asia. Which of these cities is in Thailand? Bangkok. Which of these countries is Hindi? One of the mainland in India. One, two, three. You just funny. One, two, three. Three. The evening sun begins to disappear at this time. Sunset. Two, three. Two. Uh, an important past event happened in this place. Oh, eh, an important past event happened in this place. Castle. Uh -huh. No. Which country in Asia is an island? In Asia, Japan. <laughs> you answered that one. Uh. One, two, three. One. What countries in North America along with the United States and Mexico? What countries in North America along Canada? Canada. One or two? One. Which of these countries in Asia? Taiwan. <laughs> One or two? Two. Which of these continents has the fewest people living in Asia? Check this sentence. Which of these countries has the fewest, the fewest people living on it? Ah, okay. The fewest. Antarctica? Yes, there are no people living in Antarctica. <laughs> Three. What do you call a stone or metal model of a person? Statue. Got it, yes. One, two, three. Two. What are the small sweet Candies that you can put on ice cream sprinkles. One, two, three. Uh, one, one. One, all right. In which of these countries is Spanish the main language? Chile. Yes. One, two, three. one, two. Two. Which of these cities in Great 
Sweden, London. London, yes. Two. Which of these countries is in, which in these countries in South America does it not touch Brazil? Uh, <laughs> Picture the map, the map in your mind. Peru. <coughs> no, Ecuador. Which of these countries is not in Europe? Peru. Three. Three. Which of these countries is not in Europe? I guess. Yeah, I guess. Um, Turkey? Yeah, we said Turkey before. Okay. <laughs> Two, three. Two. Two. What flat? Breakfast food used for meal and eggs. Pancake. Yes, pancake. Excellent. Okay. 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 All right, okay, let's do the long break. It's four or two, and let's come back at, I mean, for um, two or two, at two twenty seven. Two twenty seven. Okay. 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 See, you, see you later. Thank you. Mexico. <laughs> you have traveled in Mexico, the country? Yes. What places? Uh, in San Luis Potosí, here, Mexico City, uh, Monterrey, Veracruz, Puebla. Morelos and Guerrero. <laughs> and Guerrero. Yeah. What is your favorite place in Mexico? Eh, San Luis Potosí. Huasteca Potosí, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's so beautiful. That should be my next destination soon. You won't regret. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. One of my nieces lives there, so lives there. Uh, what about international places? Which place would you like to visit or you want to visit sometime? Scotland. Scotland, really? Yes. Why? Mm, because the sizings, the it's like... nature. What? No, no, continue. Oh, the nature. Um, uh, I like to visit Scotland. Um, I don't know, mountains. Yeah, the mountains. And because of the history of the place. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, any other place in Asia, Europe, Africa, maybe? Uh, yes, in India. Uh, I like to visit India. India. E and in the, it's the same because of their culture. Culture. The culture? Yes. But yeah, I... my brother was there like three years ago and <laughs> he told me that it's not really a nice place to visit. <laughs> yeah, why? Well, I have some not really nice things about India, but if you go to some specific places, like they are popular or famous. Yes. Like the, the Taj Mahal. Um, yes. The food in India is also very similar to the Mexican. Yes, yes. They, they use uh, a lot of spices, you know. Well, he told me uh, that the first reason is because there's a lot of people there. And yeah, it's crowded. Yes. And in the a cleaning culture it's not like <laughs> yeah it's kind of dirty it's yes dirty new york, new york city is like that i didn't like new york city oh dirty it's crowded too many people it's too stressful well it was too stressful for me yes 
But it's okay. I mean, like the Times Square, you know, Manhattan, the yes, yes. Liberty Island, the statue. The statue. But it's well, sometimes it's worth it. You know, it's worth to visit a place just for one time, just because you have to. Yes. Not because you have to, because you want to. Yes. Yeah, I visited. For the experience. Places. Well, I like traveling. I haven't traveled in a long time, in a year. For the pandemic. Yeah, I went to Cuba last year and 2020. Nice. I went to Italy. Oh, okay. I spent some time there in Rome, Venice, Florence. Oh. That's nice. why I have here. <laughs> uh this year i was supposed to go to paris um spain but no i guess i have to stick with guatemala and <laughs> i go to guatemala <laughs> it's closer yes okay what what do you know about these tourist destinations bogota rio de janeiro moscow beijing uh bogota I don't know, I don't know from Bogota, but from Colombia, no, I don't know either. <laughs> no, anything you know about Bogota, maybe? Mm. Ah, okay, it's here in the travel guide. Um, maybe the museums, oh, the, the coffee. Colombian oh, coffee is Colombian coffee. one of the most tasty coffees. Yeah, coffee, music, la sal, and sabroso, the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, has a nice flavor. You know, like the people. The people are very, okay. very friendly and very outgoing. And beautiful women. Oh, yes, mm. everybody. Well, yes. it's Mexico. Some places in, in Colombia are not very safe. Same like here. Yes. But you have to know where you go. Mm. Okay. Like, uh, if you start with Mexico, Mexico City, you should know the places where you don't have to go. If you don't have anything to do there, don't go there. Okay. Uh, what about Moscow? Moscow, uh, the, it's like a palace there. They have like uh, this kind of uh, buildings. Yes, it's a palace. They, they look like ice cream. <laughs> like, <Okay. laughs> for the now, I guess you already ate. Okay, yes, and of course, Moscow, you know, the weather there is hard to go. Cold, always snowing. Um, the, culture, the culture there, you know, the Russians are, are very different. The days are um, it's The, the, the sunset is earlier than here. Yes, it is. Well, that happens most, in most of the places when it's winter mm. time. Okay. Like when I was living in Chicago, the sunset was around 3 p.m. Imagine. Really? 3, 4 p.m. So, really? <laughs> it's really? not like Okay, what, are, what do you know about Rio de Janeiro? Um, the Jesus Christ, the, the statue of Jesus. Yeah, the Christ. Yeah, the Christ and the nature and nice people. Yes. The um, Amazonas, no, Amazonas is not in Rio. Or is it? Yeah, it's in Brazil. Yeah, the Amazonas River, but I don't know if it's, yeah, but it's in Brazil. near 
near Rio. I don't know. Uh, samba, right? Samba, yes, yes the dance. It, oh, samba, carnival, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Batucada. <laughs> Okay. And also a beautiful woman. And it's men. fun, you know, like those carnivals are the beginning of the year. Music, dance. All right, what about Beijing? Mm. Maybe the technology? Yes. And Beijing is in, is in China, or China, right? China, yes. The food. Um, I don't know the, also the history, I think, the museums and. Yeah, remember and we have the Olympics like yes. three, years, three years ago and was astonishing. No, wow. Was... wow, wow, right, the technology they use. Yes. The coordination when the people were dancing and doing tricks. It's like, well, it was a huge spectacle, uh, show. Okay, Richard, what uh, Yes? Can you uh, give me a minute, just a minute? Hold on a minute. No problem, take your time. Okay, there, thanks, thanks. Yes, we are here <clears throat> where we are, we have an article about a travel guide. Give me one second. When you when you visit places, when when you go to places in Mexico, what do you like to visit? What do you like to see? Uh, funny. Mm, museums and. The pyramids, 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 and the nature. Nature. Do you like more uh, historical cities or do you like beaches city? No, I, mean, I like more historical cities. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Here. I also like the beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before you read something, think, what do I know about this? And what can I learn? Okay. So some of the things that you have to think about. Uh, in the lesson, we have some places, as we mentioned before. Uh, can you read Bogota, please? Yes, Bogota, Colombia. Bogota is a city of constructs. Walk around La Candelaria, a historic neighborhood with the narrow streets, old churches, and modern skyscrapers. 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 Or go to the uh, Chapinero neighborhood with it's beautiful park. It's with this beautiful park, great cafes and shops. Don't miss the gold museum and it's beautiful jewelry. Hex, what? Exhibits, exhibits. Ah. Yeah, and you don't have to pay attention to the age, exhibits. Exhibits. Yes, yes, excellent. This is cafes. The same cafes. Cafes, okay. Yes. And this is jewelry. 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 You know, jewelry. 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 Like you skip W and E, jewelry. 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 The W sounds like a, a soft U, Yuri, Yuri. U, Yuri? Yuri. Yuri. Two sounds, Yuri. Yuri. Yes, excellent. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, we have Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Hablando Portuguese, adelante, Rio de Janeiro, please. 
Rio is famous for its beaches, mountains, and natural beauty. Walk through Tijuca National Park or take the cable car to the top of Sugarloaf Mountain for amazing views of the city. Or you can join the locals and head for the beach. For the beach, yes. Yeah, you know what it means when they say head for the beach? Um, like, and head for the acompañarlo? Uh, no, well, you know, head is a part of your body, right? Your head. What? Um, head. No, head. I don't know that expression. No. Oh, well, head, this case, head is a verb in this case. Well, head is a noun, so it's cabeza, right? Yes. It's part of your body, but in this case, it's a verb. So it means go to the beach. Oh. Go. Like, I am heading to downtown, boy, al centro. I'm heading, you know. Cool. I hey, need to head cool. right now. It's go. Okay. Same. Okay, let's okay, head for the beach. Mask. Oh. And we are going to talk about the Kremlin Palace. If we were okay. to palace, this is the Kremlin Palace. The Kremlin Palace and the Cathedral of Saint Basil in Red Square are just some of the historic cities. Cities you can see in Russia's capital. There are also tourist attractions under the city. The Moscow Metro, the subway, is full of art, statues, and crystal chandeliers. Mm, excellent, chandeliers. You know what a chandelier is, right? Yes, the thing is up in the, it's like a lamp. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. But um, fancy. Mm -hmm. For those big houses with big ceilings, right? Yes. Sí, el techo, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, ceiling. Sí. Uh, Beijing. Well, as you see, the when we're talking about Moscow, Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. The, the Kremlin Palace. Oh, basil. Basil, you know what a basil is, right? Well, some basil. Uh, un santo? Saint? Some basil, <laughs> yes. Well, in this case, it's a santo, some basil. OK. O sea, basil is es, es el santo, o es algo? Yes, some basil in red square. But remember also basil, basil is a noun. In Spanish, we have mint, menta, okay. buena, and we have basil. And just in case you see the word. Okay. Basil is... Ah! <laughs> yes. Albaca. Okay. For a good luck, that's basil. Mm -hmm. It's usually it's, it's normally used in uh, Italian cuisine, you know, for pastas or for salad. <laughs> or in Mexico for the limpias. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's true for limpias. Or for put it by your door for good luck. Okay, yes, yeah. Or okay. just for relaxing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. What about uh, China, China, by Beijing, China? Beijing, China. In Beijing, you can experience the old and the new. Take a tour of the Forbidden City. Oh, the Forbidden City. Which is uh, 600 years old palaces. Palaces? Palaces? Yes. Okay, palaces. Then visit the modern Olympic birth nest stadium. 
Beijing National Stadium and the Anna and the eh? and the day and the day. Yeah, and the day with a and the day with a traditional foot massage. And the day. All right, mm -hmm. uh, funny. You can do um. Well, you can do a review about, let's see, you can write something about Acapulco. And okay. Name three specific. This is about writing, remember. This lesson is about writing and reading comprehension. Okay. So what we need to see is your grammar and your spelling. Okay. Okay, write a review about or a travel guide for Acapulco or Toluca, either one. Okay. And name a couple of places that you want tourists visit sometime, like this one. Okay. Okay, I give you uh, this three or two, eight minutes. Okay. Okay. What's the recording? <laughs> the last part. Anyway, thank you very much, Fanny, for your time. Um, enjoy the weekend and see you next Friday. Thanks, you, teacher. Enjoy um, your weekend. Questions, questions before we go. Any questions you have or comments? Mm, no, teacher. It's fine. No? You're good? All right. Yeah, good we're good. Excellent. Thank you so much. See you next time. See you, teacher. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.